but bum 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 Oh, okay, I'm already, the graphic's gone. Okay, well, we recently told you how Gerald Ford became our 40th vice president. He was selected to replace a vice president who resigned. Yolanda Vasquez is here with our Wednesday feature, Get to Know Your Vice Presidents, to tell you about that VP, who resigned, and why. And Spiro T. Agnew took the ex express elevator to the national stage. He won his very first election in 1962 as Baltimore County Executive, and he became our 39th vice president only eight years later. Candidate Richard Nixon needed Agnew on the ticket to win over some Southern conservative voters, but once elected, Nixon regretted his choice. The charisma challenge Nixon resented Agnew's ease with public speaking, and he didn't appreciate Agnew's own presidential ambitions. Nixon froze his vice president out of cabinet meetings and kept him at arm's length. Secret White House tapes later revealed that the president and his aides schemed on how they could kick Agnew off the ticket for the Nixon re-election campaign in 72. One idea was to have comedian and White House fave Bob Hope coax Agnew off the ticket by making him a business partner. In fact, Agnew later revealed in his autobiography that Nixon aides went so far as to threaten his life, telling him flatly to resign from the ticket or else. But Agnew wouldn't budge, and Nixon was too afraid of losing Agnew's conservative backers to dump him. So the unhappy couple won re-election. But soon after, some long gestating legal problems caught up with Agnew. In 1973, Agnew was formally charged with accepting bribes throughout his political career. He was allowed to plead no contest to a single count. But in exchange for the plea bargain, he was required to resign the vice presidency. Agnew was also disbarred from practicing law when he pleaded no contest to the charge. The state of Maryland later required Agnew to pay almost $300,000 in fines in a civil suit, the approximate amount of bribes Agnew accepted while in political office. Agnew remains the only vice president in our nation's history to resign the office due to a criminal charge. From Washington, reporting live with your D.C. connection, I'm Yolanda Vasquez.